Most of us own a furry friend and know how to take care of it, but sometimes you have to go beyond the basics of, to own a pet. I'm going to show you all the essentials of owning a dog and a cat. In my life, I've owned two cats, four dogs, a guinea pig, and a hamster. I tend to favor cats the most, but dogs are definitely a close second. Since dogs and cats are the most popular animals owned in the United States, I'm going to use these two species for my demonstration. So here I am to show you all the essentials of owning a cat and a dog. Most of us know the basics about owning these pets. Both need food and water. Dogs need to be taken on walks and cats need a litter box. But I'm going to go deeper into these basics. Here's all you need to know about taking care of your pet. If you buy your animal from a previous owner or pet store, it is a good idea to buy the same food the previous owner has been feeding them. Also make sure you are buying the right food for the age of your pet. All brands of food come in puppy and adult varieties. Feed them twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. When buying a water bowl, you want to buy one that fits the appropriate size for your pet. And also make sure they always have clean water. Make sure you buy the proper size collar for your dog or cat. It is recommended that you buy a harness for your dog so they don't choke themselves when you take them on a walk. A retractable leash is recommended for your dog. Take them out in the morning, afternoon, and before you go to bed. You can also take your cats on a walk too if you wish. We also added a little flower to her collar. So this is their harness. You just take your dog. Flip the armholes <laughs> through their legs. And then it clips in the back and it also has a Velcro piece. And when you're attaching their harness to the leash, you want to make sure both of the loops are attached to the leash. And then with the retractable leash, it's got a button on the top that you can stop how far it goes so they don't always run away from you. You have them and you can let them go as far as you want or keep them as close to you as you want. Also, while taking your dogs on a walk, if they poop on someone else's lawn, it's appropriate to clean it up afterwards instead of just leaving it there. When you're buying a litter box for your cat, I recommend buying one that has a cover over it. I recommend this because when cats use their litter box, they usually paw at the litter and it can make a mess. But if you buy a litter box that has a cover over it, the litter won't spread all over the place and you won't have a big mess to clean up afterwards. Although you will still have to clean up their pee and poop. If you buy your pet from a previous owner, you also want to know if that pet has ever received vaccines or has any medical problems so you know what the first order of business is to take care of when you take them to the vet. Also, when you take them to the vet, you always want to make sure they come out healthy and have all their necessary vaccines. Bathe your dog at least once a month. You can use any brand of dog shampoo you like. You can also give your cats a bath if they don't mind the water. And if you need to know how to give your dog a bath, you can just look at my previous video, how to give your cat a bath, and it's pretty much just the same exact process. Make sure you apply flea repellent on your dog and cat monthly to ensure they don't get infested with fleas. Also, you're going to want to frequently check your dog for ticks because that can lead to Lyme disease. If your cat goes outside, you should check them for ticks too. Now that you know the basic care needs of a dog and a cat, it's time to train them. When training your dog, it is important to use a reward system. Treats are your best option. Find a brand of treat that they like and use it as a reward system. Potty training is definitely the most important part of owning a dog, and this is why you need to take them out frequently so they don't have accidents in the house. When they go to the bathroom outside, reward them with a treat. Positive reinforcement is the best way to train an animal. Some people actually prefer to crate train their dogs and keep them in crates overnight to make sure they don't have accidents in the house. But I don't like this idea because I don't like the thought of an animal being cooped up in a small space all night long. So it's better to just properly potty train them instead so you don't have to create them overnight. 
If you want to teach your dog how to sit, lay down, speak, etc., you're going to need lots of treats and patience. Repeating the word you're training them and adding hand commands is the best way for them to fully understand. Once they've successfully done it once, keep making them do it with the same hand command and voice command so they become used to it. So this is Charlie. We're going to show you how he can sit, high five, and speak. Now can you sing with me? Yeah, good boy. He's a good boy. Cats have a natural instinct to use litter boxes. You can teach them to be toilet trained, but I've never personally done that before. And good luck to you if you want to teach a cat how to sit, because I've never seen a cat sit on command before. Now that you've trained your pet, it's time to get familiar with how to pet them. If you are just meeting a dog or a cat, the safest place is probably always the butt. Always let the animal smell you first, and if they don't seem to like you, don't try to forcefully pet them because you could get hurt. Once you've had your pet for a while, it becomes clear where they like to be pet and where they don't like to be pet. Dogs typically like the tops of their heads pet and their butts and their bellies scratched, and cats typically like their head and their chin rubbed, and then they like their butt scratched. Now I'm going to tag the cat that I used in my bath video and show you how he likes to be pet and how he doesn't like to be pet and I might get clawed in the process so I'm kind of scared. <laughs> so here's Moose. I just picked him up and he likes his head and his butt and when they lift their butt when you scratch it that's a good sign that means that they like it. He's kind of like under his chin so when they lift their head like that that means they like but if you go down too far, you get into a dangerous zone with him. He also likes the inside of his ear scratched a lot. Um, yeah. But the one thing he hates is his belly. And if I touched his stomach right now, my hand would probably be ripped off. But I guess I could show you. He doesn't like that. That's no big deal. <laughs> now the most important thing you need to do with your pet is have fun. Playing together is very important in creating bonds that will last forever. Playing is pretty simple for both cats and dogs. Dogs typically like to fetch, which you can use an old tennis ball or even a stick off the ground. My dogs prefer squeaky toys. They love the sound. Cats are happy with a simple piece of string to chase, but the best things to use for a cat is a laser pointer, and my dogs actually love the laser pointer too. Usually whatever kind of toy your dog has been exposed to when growing up, they will love continuously throughout their lives. <laughs> As you can tell, my dogs love to keep toys. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. This is just a simple laser pointer you can get for like a dollar at any store pretty much. And my dog's already ready for it. As you can see from all that, the dogs love squeaky toys, and something as simple as a laser pointer can keep your dogs entertained for hours, and she's also actually still here because she wants to keep playing, or she wants a squeaky toy, but my cat's kind of mad because he didn't get to play with the laser pointer. <laughs> He's actually the most crazy when he plays, so... I'm going to show you 
when I play with him, I'm going to take a Charlie. I'm actually going to take just a piece of a broken hanger and rub it against the carpet. He, he loves it. Okay. If you want to keep your dog entertained, a simple hard bone will work. They can just chew on that for hours. And for cats, you can simply pull up a video of squirrels on YouTube and it's almost guaranteed to keep them interested. The thing I think is that's most important about owning a pet is giving them love. Whether it be kisses or cuddles, you want to make sure that your pet knows that you love them. Just think, with all the things going on in our lives, our pets only take up a part of it. But we are their whole lives. That's why it's so important to take good care of them and give them the best life possible. So although having a cat or dog is a big responsibility, is worth it in the end. To come home and have your dog jump up on you because it's so excited to see you is such a great feeling. If you just follow these simple steps, I can assure you, your pet's life will be the best that it can be. Thank you.